It's really a pleasure to be with you. Um, just this is an area I'm particularly passionate about. Uh, while I have lived throughout the United States, um, lived in, in Iowa, Texas, Maryland, North Carolina, I grew up in a small rural community in Northwest Iowa. So rural practice, rural oral health care is near and dear to my heart. And it's really exciting for me to be able to share our story in terms of our successes of our dental graduates returning to rural practice. In October of 2015, Marco Vujicic uh, published in the Journal of the American Dental Association um, in a study where he was looking at where dental students are going upon graduation, the fact that we were the number one school in terms of our graduates returning to rural America for their practices. And what he found was that 33% of our graduates were practicing in rural communities. At Nebraska, we take this very seriously, being a state-supported school. It is one of our primary missions that we are providing oral health care providers to fulfill the dental workforce in Nebraska. But importantly, this isn't just something that we are doing on behalf of the college, but this is truly a partnership with the state. So that's what I'm going to share with you to, today in terms of the partnerships, um, both what's available through the state as well as what we're doing as a college and our successes. So our success really is a three-part process. And first, I'm going to briefly describe what we're doing really to encourage students um, to think about dentistry, dental hygiene as oral health professions, and a little bit about our pipeline programs. Importantly, what we provide in terms of our curriculum while our students are in our programs. And finally, how do we support our students once they graduate? So let's begin with the pipeline programs. And the one that I want to emphasize is a program called the Rural Health Opportunity Program, or RHOP. This program started in 1997 and is truly a partnership with state colleges. Right now we partner with two state colleges, but we're looking at adding a third and possibly a fourth. And what these colleges do is really identify and recruit um, individuals for oral health programs and they are then guaranteed admission into our dental college either in the dental or dental hygiene program. As a part of this they must obviously main maintain a certain GPA and qualifications. Also their tuition is free in their undergraduate so that's being provided by the state colleges so as you can appreciate a huge enticement. To date, we have 57 dental grads complete this program going through the RHOP program, and you can see the success in terms of 63% are staying in Nebraska, and of these, 83% are enrolled practices. We also sponsor a Rural Health Career Day along with our other professional colleagues, where we're, again, going into communities and um, welcoming students to consider the health professions as their careers. We also direct an introduction to dentistry course at our largest undergraduate campus, University of Nebraska at Lincoln. And I just presented to this group last week where we had um, close to 100 individuals in the classroom um, as a semester long course thinking about dentistry and dental hygiene. Next year, we're looking forward to actually streaming that course so that it's available to not just our UNL students, but students throughout the state of Nebraska. And then, of course, we partner, partner with our AHEC programs in terms of, again, reaching rural communities and encouraging future students to think about the oral health professions. So as a result of our pipeline programs, about 50% of our class every year is coming from a rural background. And while 70% of our students are from Nebraska, we do draw from students from um, surrounding states that are also rural, in, including South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, and Kansas. There are also rural scholarships that we can offer to students coming from these rural settings. Now let's talk briefly about what we do as, in terms of the curriculum. All of our dental students participate in two, three-week extramural experiences where they are working with preceptors out in the community, oftentimes in rural communities or in a community health center. We have rural service opportunities. We take a busload of our faculty, staff, and students as a part of a national Give Kids a Smile 
day event out in western Nebraska. We host one in Lincoln, Lincoln, take one out west, western Nebraska, where we're serving underserved children in rural communities there. Also have um, rural extraction cl clinics. We invite our rural graduates into our practice management courses so that they can share the successes of their practices with our current students. And they're not just talking about their success in rural healthcare, if you will, but also their role as leaders in their community, something they, that they really enjoy, participating on hospital boards, uh, participating on school boards. We hold a practice opportunities fair every fall where we invite um, practitioners in to talk about if they're looking for an associate, associateship or selling their practice. So another opportunity to engage providers, rural practices with our students. And finally, just wanted to mention that it's not just um, hosting these events or um, emphasizing these events with our dental and dental hygiene students, but our pediatric residents are also spending time in the rural um, settings in Nebraska as a part of required rotations. And finally, what do we do to support our students following graduation? And again, you'll see the partnership with the state. There are two different state loan repayment payment programs, um, which you can see on, on the slide here. And students can participate with these. Obviously, um, there is a, a commitment, a time commitment of either three or four years, um, depending on which program that they enlist in. But they can uh, basically get a loan forgiveness or loan repayment up to $120,000 with one of these programs. And many of our students have participated in these loan repayment program opportunities. Our College of Dentistry sponsors the Continuing Education Caravan every May, where we present in four different locations across the state, providing that opportunity, that service, if you will, to our alums, to their staff. Um, so that's, it's really a joy to bring our faculty out across the state and, and provide the continuing education opportunity. Also, because of our small class size, uh, we have about 50 students. Our students and faculty, faculty really connect, and we encourage our students to reach back to our faculty, especially those in rural practices that may feel um, potentially a bit more isolated. We're doing some teledentistry in the state, but we're looking forward to encouraging that as a part of our future curriculum and embracing that even more. So in summary, um, thank you again for this opportunity. It's great to be able to share our story and I wish you a wonderful summit. Thank you very much.